And I'm Spectacular Boy. And, and together, together we're, we're the Spectacular, spectacular team. team. Now we are excited about everybody who came back to watch Bible Hero Alliance battle against evil. Four. Spectacular girl, look how many are out there. I think everybody came back tonight and they may have even brought a few more friends. I see some new faces. That's so great, kids. Love to see you out there. Hey, how many of you are Spectacular Boy fans? <laughs> Ooh, I love doing that. <laughs> how about those Spectacular Girl fans? <laughs> What'd you go and do that for? That was for shocking me. What? I said that was for shocking me. Oh, I see. Won't do that again, uh, will you? Well, I guess I won't be doing that again. Huh. Sorry. Good. Now, boys and girls, do you remember last night where we learned about Di Daniel in the lion's den and Queen Esther? Do you remember? Before Daniel and Esther, kids, there was a prophet named Isaiah. Now Isaiah prophesied about a savior that would be born in Israel. And several hundred years later, that prophecy came to pass. It all started when an angel appeared before Mary. Greetings, Mary, favored of the Lord. Don't be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive and bear a son. And you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. But how can this be? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High. And he will be called the Son of of God. Behold, I am a servant of God. Let this be done to me according to his word. Now Mary believed in God's promise that she would have a baby with the help of the Holy Spirit. I call her Mary Superstar. Why do you call her a superstar? Well, Mary wasn't perfect, but you got to admit, she was pretty special. I mean, God chose her to bear God's son. True. I guess that, that really fits her then. Well, that angel also appeared to her fiancé, Joseph, and told him the same thing. Now, it happened at that time that Caesar Augustus ordered a decree for all the men to return to their hometowns. Well, Joseph and Mary did return to their hometown where they would be counted for a census. So Joseph took Mary to the town of Bethlehem, and then came time for her to have the baby. But there was no room in the hotel, so they had to stay in a stable. And that is where the baby was born. Can you believe that I hold the Son of God in my arms? It's hard to believe. I really should see if I can sleep now. An angel came to us and said that we would find a baby that was the son of God here in Bethlehem. Yeah, he said that this would be a sign that we would find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. And then a multitude of angels appeared and started singing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men to whom he is well pleased. Praise God for letting us see this miracle. We have all witnessed a miracle tonight. Our Savior came to the world and took on human form. He came on a mission to save the world. That's why I call him Jesus, my superhero. Why is he your superhero? Well, I'll tell you more specifically, later on. Okay. Okay. We'll have to wait for that one. Well, a couple years after Jesus was born, 
three wise men came from the east. They traveled a very far distance. They followed a star all the way to Jesus. And when they got there, they worshipped him. Now Jesus grew both in height but also in wisdom. When Jesus was 12 years old, his family and him went to Jerusalem. And on the return trip home, his parents realized they had forgotten him. In a panic, they went back to Jerusalem to find him. What do you think the most important commandment is? Hmm. That is a great question, young man. Good question. Yes. Jesus, we were so worried. We were so worried. Oh, how could you do this to us? Didn't you know I'd be in my father's house? I'm ready to go home. What Mary and Joseph didn't understand is that Jesus was doing his father's work, his heavenly father's work. Then Jesus grew into a man, and he became a carpenter, and he worked with his earthly father. Later, he went to see John the Baptist. John, I want you to baptize me. I need to be baptized by you, Lord, and you come to me? It must be done. For the righteousness must be fulfilled. I will do as you command. Spectacular boy, I don't understand. Why did Jesus have John baptize him? Well, I think he was doing it to provide an example to all of us. Well, Jesus wants us to get baptized just like he was baptized. Okay, well, that makes sense. Well, after Jesus, after Jesus saw John, his spirit was led into the wilderness by God's spirit. Now, Jesus fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights. Now, boys and girls, fasted mean that he did not eat anything during that entire time. And in his weakened state, because he was so hungry, that's when Satan, the evil villain, attacked Jesus and tempted him. Jesus, if you are the Son of God, then take these stones here and we'll turn them into bread. It is written, you shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then if you are the son of God, jump off this temple, for it is written that he will send his angels down to protect you, and they will hold you with their hands so that you will not be harmed, not even a stone to your feet. Again, it is written, you shall not put the Lord to test. all the kingdoms, Jesus, all the kingdoms here that you see far and wide, I will give them to you if you will bow down and worship me. Be gone, Satan, for it is written you shall worship and serve the Lord only. Go! Satan tried to tempt Jesus into sinning. Jesus used God's word, the Bible, to fight off the evil Satan. Now Jesus is about 30 years old now, and he is starting to do his earthly ministry. In the next scene, we will get to see Jesus recruiting his followers. Peter, if we get this next fix, we can catch some more fish. Yeah, I think we're about done here, Andrew. My friends, Peter, Andrew, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Teacher, Come. teacher, we will follow you wherever you go. So, John, tonight for dinner, what do you say? Uh, you want to have fish or fish? I'll go with fish. Fish, good choice. <laughs> James, John, leave your nets. Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. 
We will follow you, teacher. Peter, James, John, and Andrew became Jesus' disciples, plus eight other men. Can you hold up your hand? Oh, there was 12 of them. <laughs> Good job, Spectacular Boy. Your math is improving. I've really been working on it, Spectacular Girl. <laughs> oh, oh, it was at this time that Jesus really began teaching and preaching and healing people. Well, he became well-known throughout all the land of Syria. So people from all over came to Jesus to hear him talk. One day, Jesus led his disciples up a mountain, and there he gave a great sermon. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are those who are meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. You are the salt of the earth. You are the salt of the earth. If the salt has lost its taste, how will it restore its saltiness? You have heard it said, love your neighbor, hate your enemies. But I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Now this sermon became one of the most popular sermons ever, and it was known as a Sermon on the Mount. And people were awestruck at what Jesus had to say. But there were a few religious leaders called the Pharisees who did not like Jesus and did not like what he was saying. No, they were, they were jealous of Jesus and all the followers that he had. But the crowds continued to grow and grow. Alms, alms for the blind. Money for a blind man. Son of David, have mercy on us. Oh, please heal us, Jesus. Do you believe that I am able to do this? I believe. Yes, we believe. Your faith has healed you. Uh, I can see. I can, I can see too. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Tell no one about this. We, we have, we've got to go and tell our families. And all of our friends. Yes. Jesus told them not to tell anybody because he didn't want the crowd to try to make him king. That's right. You see, Jesus, my superhero, came to save people, not to become some kind of a king. Now, one night, a Pharisee named Nicodemus came to see G Jesus in secret. Rabbi, we know that you may come from God because no one can do the things that you have done unless he comes from God. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he will never enter the kingdom of heaven. How can a man be born again when he is old? Truly, truly, unless one is born of water and spirit, he will not enter the kingdom of heaven. How can this be? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus was saying, we must be reborn again spiritually, not like we were when we were babies. Unless somebody receives Jesus and gets forgiveness of their sins, they will not enter heaven. Spectacular girl, that 
is why Jesus is my superhero. Jesus has forgiven my sins, and I will have eternal life because of him. That day is known as your spiritual birthday. And we hope that all of you out there will have a spiritual birthday. Now one night, Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he sent his disciples on a boat to cross the lake. And when they were on the lake, there arose a great storm, and they saw something scary in the distance. What is that out there? Well, it looks like a ghost. Do not be afraid, for it is I. Master, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Come, Peter, come out. Look. Master, the winds and the waves, I can't. Lord, help me. Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Surely, you are the Son of God. Jesus walked on the water. That's incredible. Peter walked on the water, too, as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus. That's right. Well, the disciples were learning more and more what it meant to be a follower of Jesus. One day, Jesus went to the temple, but he saw something that made him angry. Come on, come on. Come on. Over here. Pigeons. Over here. Pigeons. Over here. Pigeons. Come on. Over here. Pigeons. Over here. Pigeons. Pigeons. Over here. Money the best right here. Pigeons. Let's go. It is written that you shall make my house a house of prayer, for you have made it a den of robbers. Now get out of here! Get! Jesus was angry because people were making money in the temple, which is his father's house. The temple is to be used for prayer and worship, not for making money. Now Jesus knew that he would be betrayed soon by somebody that cared more about money than about God. Now Jesus and his disciples were celebrating Passover and Jesus revealed to them who would betray him. And the disciples did not understand. And after supper, Jesus did something that shocked his disciples. Jesus, are you going to wash my feet? You do not understand it right now, but afterwards you will understand. No, no, Master, you will never wash my feet. If I do not wash your feet, you have no share with me. Well then, not my feet only, but my head and my hands. Have you seen what I have done? You call me Lord and, and Savior, and you are right, I am. And if I have washed your feet, so should you wash others' feet. I have done this as an example to you. You should do as I have done to others. A servant is not greater than his master. A messenger is not greater than the one who has sent him. Jesus washed his disciples' feet as an example to all of us. Jesus served his disciples just like we are to serve others. Now, remember, this was after supper. And Jesus knew the time was near for his betrayer to betray him. So he went into the garden and prayed deep into the night. He prayed so long that his disciples started to fall asleep. They just couldn't stay awake any longer. Jesus prayed long and hard for the strength he was going to need. Because he knew that later he would suffer much pain. for my betrayer is at hand. Rabbi. Have you come with your swords? Are you after a criminal? You, should, you could have caught me at any time, but it must be fulfilled. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, betrayed him. Now they arrested Jesus and took him before the high priest. They took him to Pilate, then they took him to Herod, and then they took him back to Pilate. And after being examined by Pilate, he said, 
I find no guilt in this man. But the people wanted him punished. They were saying, crucify him, crucify him. Pilate found no wrong, but he did what the people wanted, and he crucified Jesus. They nailed Jesus' hands and his feet to the cross, and they raised it up. And he hung there for a very long time. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. It is finished! They wrapped Jesus' body in some cloths and put him in the, in the stone tomb. And they rolled a huge stone against the entrance. Now the priest had heard about him talking about rising from the dead in three days. So they went to Pilate and asked for extra guards. Pilate said, seal the tomb so nothing can get out. And the two guards took their place in front of the tomb so that it could not be tampered with. And three days later, Mary Magdalene and Mary came to visit the tomb. Women, don't be afraid. I know whom you seek. You seek Jesus, who was crucified. But he is not here. He is risen, just as he said. Come, come and see the place where he laid. Don't fear. Quickly, go. Go and tell all the disciples that Jesus has risen from the dead. He goes before you into Galilee and will meet you there. Jesus had risen from the dead, and many, many people saw him after that. He appeared to his disciples and to other people. Well, he even appeared to 500 people at once. Now you remember, Jesus, my superhero, fought the devil in the wilderness with the word of God. Jesus had victory over death, and he can give you victory over death and sin. We're happy you kids came tonight. We really look forward to seeing you again tomorrow night. Come back tomorrow, and you will see our heroes captured and released, and you will see the end of the world. Good night, everybody.